Forge Nation, we are back with our 12th giveaway rig presenting to you Dracos, the 2023 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition. We've done Jeeps, we've done Broncos, we've done TRXs, but we've never done a Toyota. So we knew that if we were gonna enter the Toyota family, we had to go big, we had to go aggressive, and I think you're gonna like the build sheet on this unbelievable Toyota Tundra that you could win. So let's start at the front and work our way back. For starters, we got the Rave Off-Road TRD Pro Grill. Uh, has the integrated camera up front. You have 360 degree view with cameras on all the corners on this beast. And you also have the Toyota here that we color matched that Mamba Green and Nozatech wrap that I'll talk about in a second. We got the Fab Four bumper. I love the look of this bumper because it's not super aggressive. You still maintain the factory sensors and the factory look, which I think Toyota did a really good job. You have a 30 inch light bar here by Baja Designs with ambers and a 20 inch light bar integrated into this uh, front grill. Some other little things that we did, we smoked these little fog lights. We thought that looked a little bit cooler and we added uh, integrated Warren Evo 12S winch. Uh, this is a 12,000 pound pulling capacity with synthetic rope. Just in case you get stuck, which isn't gonna happen, probably you're gonna be pulling people out. Uh, you're gonna notice Baja design lights from head to toe, including some rock lights on all of the tires here, which makes a really awesome camp atmosphere. You pull up to camp, turn those on, really easy to see where you're going. We you don't have lights shining in your eyes. Also, this is a really awesome look. This is the Alpha Rex uh, headlights for the Tundra. And what I like about it is it's all blacked out, crazy bright huge upgrade even from the LED lights and I just really like the look. We've been a fans of Alpha Rex since our second Bronco we put it on and they've been crushing it ever since. So we're gonna put those on all of our rigs for the near future. Now let's work our way back. And one thing that you'll notice right away is these tires are not stock. We have it aired down a little bit right now because we're off-roading. So do not comment that the tire's flat. It's not. Uh, we're at 28 PSI if you were wondering. We have 18 inch KMC wheels here. I really like the look of these wheels combined with the Goodyear Wrangler Territory AT tires. These are the same tires that you can find on a TRX and uh, I have not driven a better tire from a fuel efficiency standpoint, um, noise and off-road capability. This tire in my book is number one. That's why we put it on this Tundra. Suspension, we went with a two inch ready lift in order to fit these 35s and did very minimal trimming. This Toyota is equipped with uh, IFS, independent front suspension, and the Toyota Advanced Variable Suspension. And what that equates to is when you're driving off-road, it feels like you're in a luxury vehicle. It is pretty crazy how well this performs with a stock suspension. Now, we've talked a little bit about the outside. I'll wait on the back, but let's jump inside this thing to see some of the features that come with it. Now, this Toyota was manufactured on a ranch in Texas. The year that ranch was founded was 1794, which is where the namesake of this beast came from. And what I really love is just the subtleties. The brown leather interior really takes the outdoors and brings it inside. I love the floor mats. I love the back seat. Everything is really dialed and it's extremely comfortable. Now, some creature comforts are important, even if you're roughing it in the great outdoors. We've got heated and cooled seats. Uh, we have the ability to raise and lower the back of this truck with airbags, which is comes really in handy if you need a little bit more of a uh, lift on your back, especially if you're towing something, that's gonna auto correct itself to be neutral. You have the auto cruise control, lane assist, and the functionality of this screen. JBL audio all the way around, a 10 inch subwoofer in the back. You got the ability to go four high, four low, different driving modes, uh, toy haul, you got a brake controller right here. I could go on and on, but I think we just need to post a sticker on this thing because it is packed with awesome technology. All of those Baja design lights are controlled by this S-Pod, which is really functional. I love how it's integrated. Uh, it's all neatly organized in this center console area up top. Uh, you also have a full pano sunroof, which makes it awesome whenever you're in the great outdoors to see what's going on in the world. Love that. All right, that's enough about the interior. Let's check out what's underneath the hood of this Toyota Tundra.
underneath the hood of this beast is a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 that when I first heard there's a V6 in it, I was a little disappointed, but those turbos spin up. And with 12,000 pound towing capacity, almost 500 horsepower, this thing rips. Over 500 foot pounds of torque as well, which is awesome. We did a little bit of an upgrade here. We put Canon and cold air intake filters to give a little bit more boost and combine that with a Magnaflow Catback Street exhaust. That is a complete nest that you have to get an exhaust if you own a Tendra. What I love about this setup is the S-Pod hooks up right here, really easy to integrate all of your lights and it's nice, nice and neatly tucked out of the way. But overall, I'm really impressed with this engine thus far. And you know Toyota, you got a ridiculous transfer case uh, and this thing is going to outlive most other cars. Now, one thing you may notice is this wrap. This is a Mamba Green wrap by Noza Tech and it is a one of one. There's only one company in the entire country that could do a fade like this on a Nozatech wrap, and that's SD Design out of San Diego. They crushed it on this. You start from this awesome mamba green, and it fades all the way to a forest green. We blacked out all the chrome to match those power side steps, and we the only chrome that we did leave was the 1794 edition to let everyone know the interior on this thing is dialed. Now, what makes this thing an overland or adventure vehicle? Let me take you in the back and show you what we got cooking back here. Whether you're a weekend warrior or a full-time overlander, this is the ideal setup in my opinion. For starters, we got the Bushfeld Four Seasons Ready tent by Overland Vehicle System. Now this tent is fantastic. Super lightweight, folds up into just probably three quarters of the truck bed, still leaving you more room for a bike and road shower. But I'm telling you, this is one of the most comfortable tents I've slept in. Some interesting things about this tent, you got the full skylight. It comes with a ton of gear bags, which is awesome because a lot of other tent companies charge you for like shoe bags and other things. Two memory foam pillows, which is really nice. You just keep them up here. You could keep your sleeping bag up here. It's got awnings on all sides and there's nothing like having your own tree house uh, on the back of your vehicle. Keeps you up and out of the rain and also is extremely comfortable. You open this thing up in 30 seconds, closes in under a minute. Uh, you just can't do that with any other tents out there. That's why if you have an RTT and you're going out four or five times a year, it's totally worth it just for that ease and convenience. And this, in my opinion, is one of the best tents on the market, not only from a value perspective, but also the quality of the craftsmanship is really well done. I've been a fan of Overland Vehicle Systems for a while, and this tent uh, definitely hit it out of the park. I'm happy with it. Now this rooftop tent is supported by a Diamondback tunnel cover. This thing is dang near bulletproof, extremely sturdy. We've been off-roading in the past two days and we have a Yakima rack on here supporting that tent and it barely moves. It is pretty crazy. Everything is still awesome and tight on it. And if you need to make adjustments, it's really easy to do so with the, that Yakima rack. Now behind me is one of my favorite overlanding gear inventions out there. This is the Nomad Kitchen. We've used them before on some of our builds, but this one was specifically designed for the truck. It comes with a little integrated pump. You wash your hands in style. That's pretty sweet. A Selkirk 540 uh, stove by GSI Outdoors. This is one of my favorite stoves because it's nice and compact, heats up really quickly. And now watch how easy it is to fold this thing in. Bam, everything's tucked up and away. Close that tailgate and you're on the road. Now one really cool thing about this, it integrates into some of the factory hitches right here, but you have a sink and then another storage compartment for all of your plates, all of your utensils, cookware, that could all live right here. And we also have the pantry to go with it. Now this, in my opinion, is a really awesome addition because you just have multiple layers and tons of storage. Like right now we got a little coffee maker. We have all of our utensils, spices. You could even use it for gear storage and maybe go pick up a new shirt at forge4x4.com that gets you entered to win this beast. I like this one. This one's pretty rad. Oh, dirt don't hurt. Yeah, that one's also available at forge4x4.com. Every $1 you spend gets you bonus entries to win this unbelievable truck. Now that's my sales pitch, but let's keep on going. 
Uh, up top of this Yakima rack, we have a Yakima Road uh, shower. This is the four gallon, which is a perfect amount for weekend trips. And the ability, your ability to fill this thing up on the road is pretty easy. Any body of water or hose can fill this up. And then you pressurize it right here with a bike pump or an air compressor, which you should have if you're off-roading. One thing that we wanted to do is really showcase the functionality. We know that not everyone mountain bikes or even has a road bike but we wanted to give you that ability. This is a BYOB situation, bring your own bike. Uh, we'd love to give away a bike, but trying to figure out how big someone is and the size, it just doesn't quite work out, which is why we're including $15,000 in cash so you could buy your own bike or do whatever other modifications you want on this beast. But uh, this bike rack is super awesome. And as you can see from some of the videos, holds everything nice and tight. All right, so once you're done cooking, you could put your camp kitchen away Close that up, and on the rear of this beast, we got the Fab Fours rear bumper for the Tundra with the integrated sensors. You got the backup camera and some great mounting points if you ever need to pull someone out of a ditch. And one of my favorite modifications that really just completes this build and the driving experience is the Magnaflow Catback Exhaust. With some black tips, the sound on this is infinitely better than the stock exhaust, and it adds a little bit more horsepower to your rig, which Let's be honest, we all want nowadays. There you have it. Our 2023 Toyota Tundra that you could win is live right now, but only for a couple months. If you don't know who we are, every three months we give away a world-class off-roading or overlanding rig, and this one is going on right now. If you wanna win this truck, simply go to forge4x4.com to claim your entries today. Every $1 you spend in a shop on awesome gear like this shirt and hat gets you entered to win or become a member of Forge 4x4, you're automatically gonna get entries to win our active sweepstakes vehicle every month. This truck comes with $15,000 in cash and it could be parked in your garage, but only if you get entered to win. Good luck.